Hello, Connecticut residents and those of you thinking about moving to Connecticut. I want to talk to you about getting approved for an FHA loan in your state. Um, the basic FHA requirements are as follows. You're going to need a uh, two-year work history, and it's okay if you have changed jobs and have um, or have a gap in employment. Maybe you have a new job. As long as you've been there for at least 30 days, we can help you. Um, you need a down payment of 3.5%. Uh, with, that's with a credit score of 580 or better. If your credit scores are below 580, the down payment is 10%. Um, you need to fully document your income for the past two years. That's W-2s and tax returns. And if you're, if you're retired or you're on disability, you can use all that income to qualify as well. Um, the debt to income ratio is gonna be capped at the back end maximum at 56.9%. Many lenders won't go that high, but we can help you if you if you if you need that. Uh, it's okay to have a recent Chapter 13 bankruptcy. We can help you after just 12 on-time bankruptcy payments. Chapter 7, the waiting period is two years after your discharge date, but if you've had extenuating circumstances, we may be able to get the two-year waiting period waived for you. Okay. Now you can get this loan with down payment assistance. If you're struggling to come up with a down payment, we do list a couple of the down payment assistance programs in the state of Connecticut on the webpage that I'm linking to down below in the first pinned comment and also the description. And we also have a lender that offers a lender uh, down payment assistance that's that can be combined with your loan application and taken care of all at once, which is extremely helpful. Now, each state has uh, many counties in it, and each county has a maximum FHA loan limit. FHA has established a maximum loan amount or limit within each county in the United States. So all of the counties in the state of Connecticut are the same with the exception of Fairfield. Fairfield has been identified as a high cost county and the maximum loan amount is a few hundred thousand dollars higher than it is in the rest of the counties. So you still have to be able to qualify for the mortgage based on your income and debt and everything come on your debt to income ratio but know that you can buy a more expensive home with an with an fha loan especially in fairfax county okay now i do list all those loan limits they change annually but i list them on the web page that i'm linking to down below you can also get this program to rehab a property i know that in new england there are a lot of older homes that need some updating and a great part about FHA is you can borrow the money needed to um, purchase the home and also make updates and rehab it. And so then you can get the perfect home, whatever you want, all wrapped in with one mortgage and that rehab gets done after closing. You have to use a contractor and your lender will provide you with details and what's required for that. But again, just three and a half percent down and you can borrow the money to rehab the place. And then of course you can do all the refinancing programs that, that FHA has. If you already have your home, you, you already live there, you can, and you have an FHA loan, you can get the streamlined refinance. That doesn't require an appraisal or income documentation. You can get a cash out refinance. To, if you have plenty of equity in the house, you can cash out the equity and do whatever you want with the money. So there are all these other programs available to you. If you'd like to speak with someone, you need to ask questions, you wanna get pre-approved, whatever it is, we can help you at fhalenders.com. Thanks for joining us today, everyone. We will see you next time.